You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough, except when I've had enough. But there's lots of fun stuff. I'm Caillou. 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 I'm Caillou. <laughs> That's me. Caillou of the Antarctic. In the summertime, Caillou likes to play outside with his friends Jason and Jeffrey. <laughs> Even when it's a very, very hot day. <laughs> Over here, Caillou. Pass it to me. My turn. Over here. <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I want to try. <laughs> Ow. Ow! Are you okay? Caillou's head hurt a little bit, but not too much. Caillou was upset that Jeffrey had fallen on him. It sure is hot today. Phew. Jeffrey fell on me. I didn't mean to. Well, it doesn't look like a serious injury. Rosie, kiss it better. Better? Yeah. Sorry, Caillou. That's okay, Jason. We know it was an accident. I'm Jeffrey. <laughs> I just can't tell you two apart. <sighs> Jeffrey didn't mean it, Caillou. Things like this happen when you're playing and having fun. Caillou was still upset with Jeffrey. He thought his friend should have been more careful. <gasps> the ice cream man! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ice cream sounds like a pretty good idea to me. Ice yeah! cream! <laughs> Here, Rosie, I'll give you a ride. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Ice cream for all my friends. It's nice and cold in there. I wish it was cold outside. It's only that cold when it's winter, but now it's summer and summer is hot. <laughs> It's cold all year in Antarctica. Anti who? It's not an anti person, Caillou. It's a really cold place. I saw it in a book. Hmm. Antarctica is where penguins live. Penguins love to be cold. Now, everybody hurry and pick up what you want, or everything's going to melt. Lick a little faster, Rosie. Tell us more about Antarctica, Daddy. Well, the South Pole is there. And icebergs. I thought it was called the North Pole. That's where Santa lives. There are two poles. The North Pole is on the top of the Earth, and the South Pole is on the bottom. Oh! Oh! What's an iceberg? Is it made out of ice cream? No, it's it's a huge island made of snow and ice. Sticky! Well, let's go and get you cleaned up, Rosie. <laughs> Caillou thought 
thought it would be wonderful if icebergs really were made of ice cream. Hello, penguins. Looks like fun! You're cold? Well, I guess you don't want to play in the sprinkler then. Oh. <laughs> We're not really cold. We're just pretending. We're really, really hot. Hot? No, I don't believe you. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, so hot. <sighs> Whoa. Okay, you've convinced me. Maybe this will cool you down. <laughs> Ow! Caillou didn't mean to step on Jeffrey's foot. He felt bad. I'm sorry, Jeffrey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Look out! <laughs> <laughs> Caillou was glad that Jeffrey wasn't mad at him. <laughs> and Caillou wasn't upset with Jeffrey anymore because he knew Jeffrey didn't mean to fall on him. So they were all best friends again. Deep Sea Caillou. Talk to your teacher, okay? We're playing animal tag. I'm an eagle. You can be any animal you want. Ooh, ooh. Jason's an owl, Jeffrey's a lion, Clementine's a horse, and Leo is a shark. Or maybe he's an octopus now. I'm not sure. Is that a new kid? Yeah, her name is Lee Wun. She's kind of shy. You're hey. it! Children. Caillou remembered his first day of play school. He was a little shy, too, until he started to make friends. Children, this is Lee Wun. This is her very first day at play school. That's Emma. 
Xavier, Caillou, Leo, Clementine, Mara, Melanie, Wendy, Jeffrey, and Jason. I've got an extra special surprise for everyone today. <laughs> we have an aquarium. Wow. 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 It's a present from the elementary school. They just got a new aquarium, so they gave us their old one. Caillou was very excited about the new aquarium. He'd never seen such beautiful fish before. What kind of fish are they? Well, I know that those are goldfish. And those two are angelfish. What's the one with the long, pointy tail? Is that a baby shark? No, a shark wouldn't fit in this aquarium. What's the stripy one called? It's called... Yes, Lee Woon, do you know what it's called? I'm afraid I don't know what they all are. I'll bring in a book about fish tomorrow so we can all learn their names. Look! There's a little crab in that seashell! We're also going to learn how to take care of an aquarium. The most important thing, of course, is that the fish must be fed every day. Where well, can I, I do this, Miss Martin? <laughs> we'll take turns feeding them. Now I'll reach into the magic hat and pull out today's name, which is... Caillou! Wow! I'm the fish feeder! We don't want to feed them too much. This should be enough. <laughs> Caillou was very careful not to spill any of the fish food. He was very proud to have this important job. Wow, look at them go! They must be really hungry! Now, how about we all get our paints and brushes and paint some pictures of our new fishy friends? Caillou thought the fish still looked hungry. Maybe they needed more food. Caillou imagined he was swimming in the aquarium with all the fish. Hello, goldfish! greedy goldfish just keep eating and eating. They sometimes die from too much food. Oh, no! Caillou certainly didn't want to hurt the fish by giving them too much food. You see that green stuff? It's called algae. Too much of it is bad for the fish, too. Here, I'll clean it off. Snails eat algae. I'll bring some in from home. You have snails? Wow! And they like to eat this green duck? Sure. To them, it's as delicious as chocolate cake. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have an aquarium at home? Yes. My dad and I take care of it. It's bigger than this one and has lots more fish. Do you ever pretend you're a deep sea diver and you're swimming in your aquarium? Sure. All the time. See that fish there? That's a sword tail. Sometimes I pretend that I'm holding its tail and riding all around the aquarium. I did too! What are the other fish called? That striped one is called a zebra fish. The black one is a tetra. And the one with the big top fin is a sailfin molly. And that's a hermit crab. They find old seashells and move into them, like moving into a new house. Lee Wun, you Look certainly know a lot about wow. fish. Maybe you can tell us more about them to help us make our pictures. Lee Wun's got a really big aquarium at home, and she's going to bring in some snails to eat up all the yucky algae. Is your aquarium big enough for sharks? <laughs> it's not that big. I'm going to paint a picture of us being pulled by a swordtail fish. Caillou knew that Lee Wun wouldn't be so shy anymore because she was making lots of friends. What did you say this one was? Come 
explore with me. Exploring, exploring, take a trip with me. Exploring, exploring, there's lots for us to see. Take a map and compass, put on your special hat. Let's go on an adventure, but leave behind your cat. Let's climb up that mountain, but try not to stop. Step by step we'll hike, until we reach the top. Then let's explore the ocean, we'll go on a dive. Look at all those fish! Hey, I think that rock's alive! Let's explore the planets, let's travel to the stars. Let's get in our rocket ship and blast off for Mars. I want to visit every country, explore from end to end. Learn about new places and make a lot of friends. Exploring, exploring, take a trip with me. Exploring, exploring, there's lots for us to see. Caillou in the bayou. One very hot summer's day, Caillou and his family went on a trip to the country. There should be a sign for the lake around here somewhere. Caillou liked looking at all the road signs. That's a deer! Right, Caillou. That's a deer crossing sign. Do deer read signs like people? No. Then how do they know to cross here? <laughs> <laughs> the sign is for us to know that deer cross here, so we can drive carefully. Oh, is that the lake sign? I'm not sure, but let's give it a try. I hope this is the right place. Come on, Rosie, we're going swimming. Swimming! Caillou couldn't wait to cool off in the water. Oh. Looks like we found a swamp instead of a lake. Let's take a closer look. Caillou thought the water looked dirty. He couldn't even see the bottom. Yucky! Oh. I don't think the animals that live here would like to hear you talking that way about their home. What animals? Shh. They're very shy. We'll have to be very quiet and listen to find them. Caillou wondered what was making that sound. Ah, mosquitoes! Good thing Mommy brought the repellent. That's right. We don't want to be covered in itchy bug bites. Be careful not to get it into your eyes, Caillou. Pee you! The mosquitoes think it smells bad, too, so hopefully they'll stay away. Some swamps are so big you could explore them for days, and they're full of flamingos and alligators. Alligators? Really? Don't worry. There aren't any alligators in this swamp. Caillou was glad there weren't any alligators here. But now the swamp seemed a lot more interesting than it did before. Pretty! I bet this dragonfly is looking for other bugs to eat. That bug is walking on top of the water. Caillou was finding new things everywhere he looked. What are those? Those are tadpoles. One day they'll grow up to be frogs. Really? Let's take a closer peek. It's a big brother and a little sister. <laughs> That's the grown-up daddy frog. Okay, daddy frog. Here are your babies back. <laughs> this looks like a good spot to have our lunch. Careful, Caillou. I can do it. <laughs> Caillou was 
was proud that he made it to the other side without any help. These binoculars should help you spot some animals. <laughs> wow, I can see four! Caillou imagined he was an explorer in a huge swamp. he had the binoculars, so he could see the alligator from far away and not get too close. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, Caillou, look at you. Look, Daddy. Hmm, that log looks a lot like an alligator. And a baby alligator. <laughs> <laughs> Look, over there. It's a blue heron. He's hunting for fish. He's having his lunch. These pesky mosquitoes are eating me alive. <laughs> fish is our bird food, sandwiches are people food, and we're mosquito food. Caillou thought the swamp was fun, but he was glad there weren't any real alligators there. <laughs> you sure got dirty today. You'll have to wash up as soon as we get home. Oh, that's the sign for the lake. Can I wash there? Rosie, I'm an alligator. <laughs> when Caillou dried off, he found a couple of red bumps. I got mosquito bites. Try not to scratch, honey. This will help take the itch away. There you go, Caillou. The marks of a good swamp explorer. Rosie, too! Rosie, too! And Daddy, too! <laughs> 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 ha, 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 